Jeez. Okay, let's run. Hey everybody, welcome to the t uh, beta test of lab coats and broomsticks. Last episode, I built uh, this cascading processor power system, which is going on from above, and you, I, I had put it over a little too far, and it was into the wall, so I moved it a little more close to center. It's still not in the center, because this room is an even number of spaces across uh, by accident, and I, I just don't want to fix it right now, and I'm okay with it being a little off-center. It's not going to drive me too crazy, because it's way up in the ceiling, and 90% of the time I won't even see it, but um, I moved it over, and this thing is getting lots of energy, so it'll actually um, process things really, really quickly. Now, over here, we've got this baby. Uh, we've got... Uh, this is the thing that I made at the very end, the Vortex Controller, and I didn't get it set up anywhere because I wasn't sure where to put it. Uh, so this is the setup that I currently have, and actually, uh, if I get some logs, I can stack jump my way up to the top so you can see what that looks like. I'm being careful not to look at those signs. Um, we'll, we'll take a look at the signs in a little bit. Uh, but the layout that I use is I've got just a couple, uh, I've got a um, um, piece of stone in the middle to keep these three only talking to these three and these three only talking to these three. And what's happening here is um, this one right here is connected to that pump. That pump is fed coal. The coal is pushing the aura up into that one, which then spreads to these two and then falls back down into that one and that one and that same thing is happening here we've got coal in this pump and aura in this pump and that stuff gets pumped all the way up into this one which spreads to these two uh, which then falls down and feeds the power to these so uh, what mode is this in i'll do that and there we go uh, let me break that down and i'll grab all the pieces some of it, I think, just got cooked. Uh, but I used blocks of coal in here, so these things would cook for a long time. And it looked like this one just grabbed a bunch of the wood. Oh, no, that's Aura. So these are just about done. I'm going to grab another uh, uh, block of coal for each one. This is one thing you got to keep these things fed in order to make sure that they... Uh, work, but they would last for quite a long time on a block of coal, and coal is incredibly cheap. I've got my digital miner there, uh, and it goes through and it gets coal for me, um, as well as other things. Uh, the digital miner is a really uh, great thing. I've currently got it set to uh, 100 block radius, uh, so it's going around and searching uh, the area for that stuff. Don't come towards me. All right, so that thing is going through and processing. Now, what are we doing today? Well, that is a good question. Well, first off, we're going to finish an arcane crystal, uh, but that's not one of the goals for today. That's just something that's gonna happen at the same time because that machine over there is running. Uh, here are our goals for today. So the first one is to use a scraper to collect skin scales, okay? And I will not, I, I may not do these particular things in order, uh, but I need to use a scraper to collect skin scales. Now, I want to stay here while that's cooking, uh, so I'm going to skip that for, hold on, I thought I heard something. I thought I heard a bat, and that would be a big deal. You know what, I'm going to go ahead and make a scraper um, ahead of time. So I'm going to use a scraper to collect skin scales. Now a scraper. Let's take a look at the recipe for that. Um, a scraper is two stone sticks and an iron ingot. That is really, I swear to God, I heard another bat. That is exciting. Uh, most of the time we don't care if we find a bat, but that, but uh, hearing a bat when I'm doing this is a pretty big deal. Uh, let me grab this chisel, and we'll switch these back over to stone. And then in here, clear that out. All right, one, two. So I've got one, two, and now let me get a piece of iron. Just one. 
And we've got... Wait, what? Stone stick, stone stick, iron ingot. Stone... Oh, that's a stone rod. Okay. Well, in that case, how do we make a stone stick? Uh, oh, two cobblestone vertically. Well, that's easy enough. Um, let me get that out of there, and bam. Two stone stick. Go away. Cobble. And iron. All right, now I've got a scraper. And I'm going to put this away because I don't really need that right now. So, bam. Let's see if we can find that bat. Hmm. I'm going to do a little uh, looking for him. I'm not going to stray too far from that, though. Uh, but I'm going to do a little looking for him off camera. When I find him, or if I find him, I'll, uh, I'll turn the recorder back on, and we'll see if uh, we can go ahead and knock that first one off using a scraper to collect skin scales. So I will be right back. All right, I found a bat. So where is he? Oh, there he goes. So now I just got to... Um, go did I get it do I left click or right click I don't know there we go we got it we got skin cells I'm gonna get extras I cannot believe how lucky we are this is the one that I wanted too come on bat I don't know how many I need. Oop. Come on. Yes. All right, I got a bunch. All right, so the skin scales are exactly what I needed. So, and this was pretty close to my base. Let me just torch this area up. Make sure nothing is spawning. There's another one over here. Might as well while I'm at it. All right, so we got the skin cells, so we can go ahead and mark that as done. Now, the next thing is to place the scales into a DNA analyzer. Well, let's take a look at the recipe for that. DNA analyzer. And that is eight pieces of iron surrounded by a magnifier and a magnifier. And there's something wrong with this particular... Um, with this particular resource pack where glass is invisible, uh, but it's a stone stick and glass. So let's go ahead and make another stone stick. And that's easy enough. And I'll set that there. And now I think that there's glass in here. There is, I just have to chisel it first. So let me get, and the reason that I do this is because the glass is invisible, I use a chisel to change it into a different form of glass. And before I do that, let me grab this yellow gem. Awesome. Uh, I use that to chisel it into a different form of glass so that I can see it in my inventory. So I'll just switch that back into regular glass. And I think, yep, that's right there. So I will go ahead and make that now. What just happened is that we finished the last arcane gem that I need to make an arcane prism. So I'm going to do that before we get back over to those signs. So basically what we got here is our cascading processor. And I'm going to drop all these gems in front of the cascading processor. Is that all of them? I think so. Um, was it? Let me just... Do this. Oh no, there we go. Thought I only counted seven. Now we've got eight. So what's this what this is going to do, and I need to eat. It just did it. So we've combined that into an arcane gem, and so I can go ahead and get the reward for that. And I just completed that, which gave me an extra arcane gem. And we'll come back to that. In a little bit uh, but before that what I want to do is I want to I've made the um, magnifier so I'm gonna put that down and then I'm going to surround it with iron I've got iron right over here and I'll need nine or I'm going to need eight 
And we'll just do this. And we've got a DNA analyzer. Now, all of these machines do require power. So let me go ahead and move that torch over a little bit. Look. Any spawnable? No. All right. So we'll go ahead and place this right here. And we've got a DNA analyzer, which is currently charging up with RF uh, from the windmill that I have. And the next thing was to place scales into a DNA analyzer. Well, that's, uh, that's easy enough, so I'm going to go ahead and put those in. And as you can see, it is starting to transfer. And what that's going to give me is um, genes, I believe. I can't remember off the top of my head. Uh, but while I'm waiting for that, I'm going to empty out my inventory. You'll notice that my to-be-processed stuff is getting a little out of hand. I really need to just sit down and spend some time processing ore. Or I need to build an automatic system, which I just haven't gotten around to yet. Uh, because I spent so much time decorating this room and working on this Aura Cascade stuff. Uh, because it's really, it's only... Oh, you can't see what day it is. Well, I don't, I don't even know how to tell. Uh, but it's only been a like three days. So let's go ahead and get rid of that. And now we need to craft a DNA dictionary. So let's look up DNA dictionary. Uh, oh, there's two of them. An advanced and a basic. We'll just go with the basic. And that is four cells around a book. Now, I got one. Oh, okay. So we'll get these out. We got organic drop. I don't know what that does. And we've got one cell. So I need four more uh, or three more of these cells uh, in order to make the book. Now, while it's doing that, I'm going to go ahead and find a book. I'm sure. Oh, you know what? I probably have one in my transmutation applet. So let's get a book out of here. Yep, I do. So here comes the last two pieces. And I'll just let that do its thing while I come over to the crafting table and make the dictionary. So now we have um, a basic DNA dictionary. And we can check this off the list. Next, craft a DNA extractor to get a helix. All right, well, let's go ahead and figure out how to make one of those. DNA extractor. And that is, looks like seven iron, a hopper, and the book that I just made. So let's go ahead and make a hopper. And then we'll get that out of there. And then we put the hopper in the middle. And these go around. And then we put this. And it looks like I'm missing one. Learn to count. There we go. So now we've got the DNA extractor. Let's go ahead and put that down. All right, so uh, craft a DNA, DNA extractor to get a helix. So I think what I do is I need to get a cell and put a cell in here. And I'm guessing from here, I've never actually done this. I just kind of researched the steps that I would have to make for this. So we've got the cell and it'll give us a helix. All right, so we've got a helix. Uh, so we've done that. Place the helix in a decryptor. Make a decryptor. All right, so we are going to need a book, iron, and paper. I don't have any sugar in order to make the paper, so I may have to actually go out and look for paper. Um, and before I do that, I'm actually going to... Oh, that's the wrong machine. Uh, I have to make the book. So, But while I'm waiting for that, let's take a look at the arcane prism and see what we can make with it. So we can make a prismatic wand, which I don't want right now. However, this right here is definitely something I want. This is the Sash of Angel's Heels. And the way that that works is, let me just check this machine. Got to keep that empty. The way that it works, it's an accessory. And the Sash of Angel's Heels allows the player to run over mountains really easily. So basically, I can run over hills that are three blocks or less. So while that's cooking, or whatever you want to call it, extracting, uh, I want to find out if I've got any feathers in here. 
Like, ah, here we go. We've got feathers. Now, do feathers go in there? They do. So I'm going to put one feather in. I'm going to let it get written into the book. And then I'm going to get a feather out. Well, I'll get three feathers out. Use up some energy to do that. And then we will craft our sash. Uh, one, two, three. And was it just in the crafting table? I don't remember. I think it was. I think it was one, two, three, four, and then an arcane crystal. And I'll go ahead and equip that. That's awesome. And what else can I make with that? I forget. Um, ah, yes, this is a really good thing right here. I can also make uh, the amulet of angels' wings. Okay, so I have the four pistons. I'll put those around the arcane crystal. Now I've got the amulet of angels' wings. I'll go ahead and put that on. And let's see what time it is. Daytime, that's awesome. And the, the amulet of angels' wings allows me to do this. So I just teleport it up to the surface, or I can teleport right back down. Uh, basically, it teleports you up or down to the next valid place that you can stand. Uh, so that's really awesome. Uh, but then combine that with being able to now run over things without jumping uh, makes uh, tra traversing the land to find things very easy. Uh, so let's go ahead and we've got to get one more of these. And then I am going to have to go out in search of some sugar. Uh, so that's going to be the next goal is to go out and find that sugar. Now in the meantime... Uh, I did make some extra chests by accident, so I'm going to make like a project chest. Um, thought I did. Where are they? Here they are. And I'm going to put it right here. And I can put all of the things in there that I don't need to bring with me. And that. Um, let me go get another book. Whoops. Uh, book, book, book. And I didn't realize I had some extra stuff with me. All right, so, dang it, and I just went right past the crafting table. All right, so I'll put the book in the middle. We've got four bat cells. Make another dictionary. There's that. And what were we working on? We were working on a decryptor. So let's go ahead and finish that decryptor. Decryptor... And that is, oh, okay, so I cannot finish that right now because what I need, I'll put some iron, um, well, that right there, and I'll grab seven iron. And then all I need to do is find the thing that goes there. So I'm going to drop off all this other stuff that I don't need to have with me right now. Most of this is not for the project, but some of it is. So we'll get rid of all that stuff. Uh, definitely that bat cell, because that's really important. Um, I'll drop off that, and this, I don't think I need that with me. I've got some carrots. Let me get some extra carrots. Alright, so we've got a bunch of carrots, and now... I am in search of some um, sugar. And what I'm going to do is I'm going, standing right here, I know that if I look up, up, I know that my windmills are right up there. So I'm going to teleport up and up and up. So now I'm way up at, to up at the top with my windmills. And now I can use my hang glider to go for a flight. And I am going to search for some sugar. I'm up way too high, but that's okay. Uh, so I'm going to search for, for some sugar, and then I will head back and... Come on, load in. Hope this isn't broken. Okay, there we go. It's starting to load in. So I'm going to search for some sugar, and I will come back after I have found some. So um, stick around. I'll be right back. And it was closer than I thought. There's some sugar right there. I'm going to go ahead and land. And let's go ahead and make some paper with this. 
All right, we've got paper. So we've got all the parts that we need for this. We can go ahead and make it and move on to the next step. All right. Let me hit F7. Ah, see, I need to torch that up. There we go. All right, so I need to place the helix in a decryptor. So let's grab that helix. And what do we get out of this? I don't remember. All right, so we also get a helix out. Now, okay, I placed the helix in there. And I think it changed it, but I'm not sure. Um, but I know that, that I've done that. So let's gather that. Now here's the next, the next step, is to place the helix into a splitter. Let's see how to make a splitter. DNA auto splitter or splitter? We'll just go with the splitter. And we got a diamond, another book, and uh, seven iron. So I'm going to go ahead and... Um, I have to go through all these cells to get another book. And I'll be back after that. So I gotta say, I'm really glad that I got more cells than I thought I needed because I had no idea how many cells I would really need to do uh, this particular um, crafting exercise. So let me go ahead and get another book. And we'll go ahead and put it in here. Oops, uh, I'll craft it in here. And I, while I was waiting, I, I went ahead and put down another crafting or another project table so that I could have more than one recipe stored. Um, sometimes I have things that I'm working on and uh, there's other parts like, like right now. I had to craft that in order to make a book to go in that one. So there's our DNA splitter. Running out of room here. All right, so there's the DNA splitter. Now, what do I do with that? I forget. Place the helix into a splitter. Right, let's go. Put that there. Choose the gene. Basic gene. Okay, so I chose a basic gene. Not sure what that means. It's going to give me genes to put into a breeder. So while that's cooking, I'm going to go ahead and make a breeder. I realized that I was using a whole lot of skin scales. So I went over to my sheep farm there and I got a bunch off of them. Now I don't think it matters what skin scales you use in order to get um, these books. So, um, cause I was running out of bat ones and I want to keep at least one cell of bat, cell of bat um, for uh, what I need to make afterwards. So let me let that cook. I'm going to go get a book. It's reading rainbow. I'll go ahead and put that there. I'll grab the last cell. Almost. Come on. There we go. The wrong crafting table. Let's go ahead and put these where they go. Make another dictionary. Now, I think I needed iron and hay, if I remember correctly. So I think this goes there. Uh, the iron, I only need six of, I think. So there, there, and it kind of looked like a smile, I think. And then I think I put hay in the other two spots. One, two. Didn't get any seeds that time. That's weird. Oh, man, I keep clicking on the wrong crafting table. All right, a DNA breeder. We've got that now. Definitely running out of room here. Um, so we put the genes into a breeder. Put the genes into a breeder. I think that they're talking about this. And I wait, that's not the genes. Oh, that's right. This was running. All right, so I've got a basic gene. And I want to put that into the breeder. Uh, 
uh, put, place genes into a breeder. So I got basic gene. That's not doing anything. Hmm. What am I doing wrong? Don't have any way to combine things there. Maybe there's only a chance that you can get this stuff. So I'm going to put this basic gene right back there. And... Well, I can do the other steps, and I'm going to have to come back to that. Uh, so extract my blood with a syringe. All right. Uh, syringe. S-Y-R. No, oh, that's mine factory reloaded. I want to make sure I'm using the one from Advanced Genetics. Three iron, an arrow, and a glass bottle. First off, three iron's pretty easy. An arrow. I don't know if I have one, so I may have to go skeleton hunting. Ah, oh, good, I have one. I'm going to take the other one and put it in here. So that I don't have to worry about that later. And a glass bottle I'll have to make. Um, wait, what? No, that's not it. A glass bottle is three pieces of glass in the same shape as a bucket. And I have glasses in here, I believe. Yep, there it is. So let me get out the chisel. I think I left over here. And we'll put the glass in here, and I'll grab out one. Oops, I guess that doesn't matter. Right next to the chisel. Let's make a glass bottle. One, two, three. And then I will chisel that glass back to its normal if you guys know how to fix that, just let me know uh, in the comments, because I'm really not sure. Uh, so now I need to make a syringe. Uh, I've got the all the parts, and I think that the arrow went on the bottom, and then a glass bottle, and then... Or was it like this? No. There we go. There's a syringe, and I'm going to use the syringe... Ooh. Okay. So it's filled. Extract my blood with a syringe. I did it. Place the syringe into a centrifuge. So I may not be able to get everything done today, but I'm going to see what I can do. Centrifuge. Maybe if I spelled things correctly. All right. A centrifuge. We need ooh, another book. Dang. All right. So let's go ahead and Get that and we also need some more syringes so I'll need three times four is twelve iron um, let me get that out there we go twelve iron and then um, I need another book oh, and then I'll need I already have two not it. I already have two uh, glass bottles, right? Yeah, so let me make... I'll need two more glass bottles, so I'll just have to do this once. Oh, that... That was dumb. Alright, let's try that again. There we go. So now I've got three pieces of glass. That'll give me three more bottles. And so I will put the bottle, I think it was right there. And then the iron right there. there go. And then I need a bunch of arrows there. Then we'll go ahead and put the arrows in here. Where is it? Um, arrows. There we go. There we got four syringes. 
So I use, uh, I think it was four iron around the outside. Let me get some more iron. Right, that one's being used. All right, so we'll use, I think that goes there, 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 and there. And then I put the iron around the, the outside. I grab too many iron. And now I just need to get a few more cells to make to finish making the book. So I need one more cell. Let me make a book while we're waiting. Uh, so what do you guys think of the pack? Um, is there anything that you think that we need to add to the pack? Is there anything that you think that, that is o too overpowered and we need to get rid of? Um, I'll tell you right now, I know that the RR pick and Atomic Disassembler are overpowered, but um, I'm not going to get rid of them because they're too much fun. And sometimes it's okay to have some overpoweredness if it's fun. Um, that's how Blizzard makes all their games. Whenever you play that game, you their games, you always feel extremely powerful. And that's one of the things that makes their games so fun. Uh, having the RR pick and the Atomic Disassembler is incredibly fun. So I definitely don't want to get rid of those. All right, we've got a centrifuge. Are we out of universal cable down here? I'm not out of it yet. So now I can put this... Let me just look at my steps. Place the syringe into the centrifuge. And that is going to spin that around. And now I will have syringe, which is filled and centrifuged. Is that a word? I'm going to put that right there. Gone. So I have two steps left that I'm not sure how to do. And I'm going to have to do some research and come back. So I will see you guys after I figure this out. What happened is you don't get the genes you need every single time. Sometimes you get uh, basic genes and sometimes you get the genes that you're actually looking for. So I am going to have to go out and find some more bats. I uh, unfortunately, oh, a blood moon's rising, so uh, I probably won't be going out tonight. Uh, but um, as I was saying, I unfortunately wasted a whole bunch of of bat scales uh, trying to get the stuff for these books. That was a huge mistake on my part. Uh, so I'm going to have to find more bats, but um, right now I'm going to try this this setup one more time. So I've got a cell of bat. I'm going to extract the DNA. We'll see what we get. Hopefully it will be something that the bat can provide instead of just basic. So we've got helix now we take the helix we put it in the decryptor so this is going to find out what this is going to turn this into usable dna um and hopefully it's the usable kind that we need here we go and it's just basic genes so then i go through and do the same thing for the rest of them and i click basic gene now if if this had said Helix something other than Basic Gene, that would have shown up over here and I have to choose one. So I'm gonna go ahead and pick Basic Gene because that's my only choice. I'm going to have this go ahead and split out the DNA of the Basic Gene and I'll just throw it in a chest until I find more bats. So this is just, the scraper is just about dead because I, I did, I got so many scales um, or skin scales. So I'm going to put that away. That's important, I'll keep that. And I'm going to make another um, syringe, not syringe, What's the, uh, I need that. Um, I'm going to make another stone stick. And I am going to find more bats, I hope, um, but that is going to have to wait because it's a, a blood moon. So I'm going to do that after the blood moon's over. And I will see you afterwards. Back soon. All right. Found a creeper. I'm going to go ahead and do my best to use the scraper on him. That zombie seems trapped over there. Ooh, dang it. All right. Well, that didn't work.
I got a little bit. Move back up here. Uh, so I am out looking for bats. Not you. Um, swim up here. No, let's not. So, um, I'm still out looking for bats. Uh, the blood moon's over. Uh, I've, I also made the DNA combiner ahead of time. That was, whoa. Um, whoa. Okay, where's that coming from? Over there. Alright, you know what I'm going to do before I uh, look for bats? I'm going to actually make a set of armor so that maybe these things don't murder me super fast. And I think that I have to go this way. There we go. Alright, heading back to base, making some armor, and then I'll head out. And it won't be anything fancy, but at least... Hold on. I think I heard a bat. Um, no real way to know. Let me pour some water on that. Oh, I've got water with me. Come at me, guys. You know what? I wonder... Do these guys have cells? Can I get something from off a zombie? I can. Look at that. I gotta remember to right click instead of left click. I don't know what these guys will give me, but that's half the fun of doing science. This is why we wear lab coats. And look at this guy. He wants to be a scientist too. You can't, because you're dead. Alright, time to die. Let me pick up all these skin cells, and I'm going to have to make, go back and make another one. Alright, so I'll be back later. So, I found another bat. Uh, let me go ahead and eat, because I just fell. And I don't see any monsters on the map. Build myself a bridge. No! Okay. The, the chase is on. Where'd he go? Come on. Where'd you go? Oh. Stick close, buddy. Listen, I only want your DNA. Okay, this is harder than than I thought it would be. Which is good because I, I was I was a little afraid that this was that this mod pack was or not mod pack, but this mod was gonna make things a little too easy. Where'd he go? I got six. Dang. Like I lost him. Head down here. Ooh, he's still around. I can hear him. Off on the right. Come on, little bat. Be friends. All right, it looks like I lost him, but I did get six cells. Um, or skin scales, whatever they are. Look through this room one more time. My buddy, the bat. Now, here's what's going to happen. I'm going to leave and go back to my base. And you guys in the comments are going to be like, he was right there. So if you see him in the com or if you see him, uh, what I'd like you to do is to write uh, in the comments section below, 
write down the timestamp so that I can go back and look because I'm, I'm curious if I missed it, but that's okay. Let's head back to base. Um, way is base? Base is this way. I absolutely love travel options in this mod. All right, let's go ahead and see if the um, the bat DNA gives us any um, any success. All right, so I went and I've I've got the that the bat cells and I used them in the analyzer and the extractor and I I did notice that they ha they have different codes. So I don't know what that means, but um, let's go ahead and put one of these in the decryptor. Now I remember that one of them, like this AF17BC, I remember seeing a short one like that before, and I think that gave me a basic gene. So let's see what this one gives me. Fly basic gene. All right, so that's awesome. Uh, I'm going to leave the rest of those for now, and what I want to do now is take this one, put it in the splitter, split out the fly gene. So after that gets split out, then we'll see what to do next. Let me go ahead and get a drink. All right. So now I have the gene for fly. And I think I put it in the breeder. And it says the breeding state is that I need 28 of these. Okay. Now, if I get another one that's fly, that will count as two of them. And any basic ones, like these two, those look like eyeballs. Uh, if I take one of these and put it in, it's going to go ahead and push this up to one out of 28. Just like that. So I'm going to go ahead and keep doing this, get as many as I can, and when we get up to 28, uh, we'll finish up this episode. It took quite a bit of grinding, but I was able to get the... I needed 28 of these, so I finally got the last one. I'm going to put it in, and this should complete this gene sequence. Uh, and then I'll take that out. Completed. Alright, so that is completed. Um, so that's done. Place genes into a breeder, done. Add syringe and genes into a combiner. So let me grab that syringe. And I think that's the combiner, there we go. I think I put the syringe on this side. Genes in there. And then, let me clear that out. So now I've got a filled syringe. Now, Break that. Finally, centrifuge again. Where's the centrifuge? And after this, we should be able to inject it. Injection time. So let's try it. Uh oh. Things are getting woozy. What's going on? Oof. That actually kind of messes me up. And now we can fly. Look at that. That is awesome. So now, I can fly way up high in the world, switch to my glider. And that goes really, um, goes really quickly. And if I get too low, I can just fly back up. Now let me see, am I safe from... Ooh, there's zombies right there, so I don't want to die right there. Let me go back into my village. We'll see what happens. All right, so it looks like I have safe fall as well. So that is awesome. I now have creative flight from a bat. Let's head down here. And we finish that off. And that is an episode. If you like this episode and you want to see more, uh, just make sure you give that a like and also... Um, Subscribe and comment. Look at my ridiculous outfit that I'm wearing. 
Um, also, if you uh, are enjoying the pack or if you have um, some advice for the pack, uh, go ahead and put that in the comments below as well. And thanks so much for watching. Until, the, until next time, uh, we'll see you later. Bye-bye.